I can't believe the results I'm seeing. This is flipping awesome. Oh my gosh, I have to share this with all of you. If you do this one thing, I am sure, and I'm positive, I will get faster at running. Let's take a look at today's video. Hey everybody, my name's David Waters and I'm the Plant Powered Runner. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about what is your difference in heart rate when you're running versus walking? So stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you the results of a 10K walk and a 10K run and what the difference is with heart rate and power and everything else. Walking and running are both excellent forms of cardiovascular exercise. Neither is necessarily better than the other. The choice that's best for you really depends entirely on what your fitness and health goals are. If you're looking to burn more calories or lose weight fast, running may be a better choice. But walking can also offer numerous benefits with health, including helping you maintain a healthy weight. Benefits of cardio. <laughs> walking and running are both awesome forms of aerobic exercise. Some of the health benefits of cardio include, it helps you lose weight and maintain a healthy weight overall. <laughs> it increases your stamina, boosts your immune system, helps prevent and manage chronic conditions, strengthens your heart that can extend your life. Cardiovascular exercise is also good for your mental health. I've been learning a lot about this. You know, just one study found that 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise three times a week reduces anxiety and depression. It can also improve your mood and your self-esteem. Hey guys, if you like the videos, please think about giving me a like, subscribe, or any of those things. It really does help the channel. Okay, let's get back to what I'm talking about. So is walking better than running? That's been the question that I've been looking to answer. And walking can provide a lot of the same benefits of, of running. And running burns nearly double the amount of calories as walking does. For, for example, someone who's 160 pounds running at five miles per hour burns 606 calories. Walking briskly for the same amount of time at 3.5 miles per hour just burns 314 calories. You need to burn approximately 3,500 calories to lose one pound. So if your goal is to lose weight, running looks like the better choice than walking. But if you're new to exercise or aren't able to run, walking can still help you get in shape. I know this, I'm going through this, and it works for all fitness levels. Power walking versus running. Speed walking is walking at your brisk pace, usually about three miles per hour or greater. Your heart rate is elevated during speed walking and you can burn more calories this way than just walking at your normal pace. Power walking is usually considered three to five miles per hour, but some power walkers can reach speeds of up to seven to 10 miles per hour. Power walking burns a similar number of calories as walking. And today we're looking at the numbers of what it was like for me when I did a 10 kilometer walk and run back to back to see the difference between the two. I'm pretty stoked to go look at those numbers, to be quite honest. So here's the data, here's the numbers, and here's all the fun stuff that I was able to figure out between walking and running and what the differences are between the two and how I did. On Sunday, I went out for a run and I wanted to see what the numbers looked like. So for 10 kilometers, I ran for an hour, 29 minutes and 54 seconds okay, with a nine kilometer pace. So this is what it looks like per kilometer, you know, all the way down here, right? Started off at 736. I thought I was a rock star, but I really realized that, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near that kind of fitness. And to be quite honest, it's not even that great of fitness. I ran as slow as I possibly could without walking, okay? I couldn't get any slower. My heart rate, it was pretty impressive because it really wasn't looking at heart rate. I literally just said, okay, well, how slow can I run? And can I continue for 10 kilometers? And this is what it actually turned out to look like. So my pace was nine minutes. 139 was my Strava score. 143 beats per minute. And my watts for power were 178. 14 degrees Celsius, 79% Fahrenheit, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? You look down and uh, you can see the chart and I had a pretty darn good heart rate. It was pretty stable all the way across. Like I di it didn't vary very much. Even when you, you know, you kind of look here, it was all kind of within that 
141, 143 mark kind of benchmark. I mean, yeah, okay, the last couple of two, maybe not. In the beginning, maybe not. But for the most part, it was pretty, you know, straight. Like it was pretty, you know, pretty good. Um, if I broke it down per kilometer, so for the first five kilometers, it was 43 minutes and 58 seconds. And then the second was 45, 54. Right, and my, again, you can see my heart rate, 142 and 144. So, you know, that's what happened. And I'm quite happy I was able to get out for a run after being off for as long as I have. So, here's the big reveal. What's it like when you go ahead and you do a walk the following day? Well, I did. And I'm pretty amazed at what happened. 10 kilometers, one hour, 26 minutes, 20 seconds, an 8.38 kilometer pace. Like how awesome was that? I actually walked faster than I did running. It was 20 degrees, so it's like four degrees warmer. It was 4% uh, more hu humid, and it was crazy wind when the, I didn't have so much the, you know, wind. So I look, you know, and, you know, 849, 903, nine, eight, sorry, 849, 843, 838, 829, 835, 831, 818, and 820. Started off 127 heart rate, 134, 125, 129, 132, 133, yada, yada, yada. Averaged out at 133. Strava score was a 60, and the power watts were 185. So what did my heart rate look like when I was out for that run? What was my heart rate like when I went out for that walk? Well, it was kind of jaggedy, right? Like it was not as clean lined as my run was, right? That's kind of interesting. And so again, looking at all my splits, uh, for the first five kilometer, it was 44 minutes and eight seconds. And the second five kilometer, I negative split at uh, 42.15. Again, heart rate was 129 and then 137. Guys, I'm very, very pleased with these numbers. So if I did a comparison uh, between the two, I'm basically three, three and some odd minutes uh, faster by walking than I am with running. And so I kind of broke it down, right? So for the first two kilometers, I was slower, 113 and, and, and seven seconds and then on kilometer two. But then after that, walking was the way to go. I was faster on each one of my kilometers that I went. So it was flipping awesome. I kept a, a steady heart rate and I got faster as I went. Yeah, my heart rate was, was varying a little bit, but for the most part, it was amazing. But here's the thing. There is a difference between walking and running. And I talked about that in today's video. Running is high impact. Walking is low impact. So I'm not surprised to see my heart rate higher and I'm running slower because I'm kind of like, when you think about it, your you're two feet are in the air at any given point in time, right? Like you're, you're, you're trying to run and run is like controlled falling like jumping, right? Walking is very, very different when it comes to that. Yeah, it uses a lot of the same muscles, but again, it's very, very different. I was speed walking here, so my feet had to be on the ground. Low impact versus high impact. Yes, there is a 10 beat difference between both of the exercises. So that was flipping amazing, and I was so happy to see. I, only, I honestly didn't think it was gonna turn out like this. But it did, and I'm quite happy with the way it all worked out. Try this for an effective workout. Try pace training. Increase at your speed for two minutes at a time, then slow back down. Speed walking doesn't burn as many calories as running, but it can be an effective workout to elevate your heart rate, boost your mood, and improve your athletic level. Incline walking versus running. Incline walking involves walking uphill. It can burn a similar number of calories as running. You burn more calories at an incline just, than just walking on a flat surface. So look for a hill or an area and walk on an incline or a treadmill 
Increase the incline by five, 10, 15% of the time. Hills are your friend. It's like speed work in disguise. You don't have to run fast to get your heart rate really elevated. Doing hill repeats by walking is amazing. Running is a great way to get in shape, lose weight, but a high impact exercise, high impact workouts can be harder on your body than lower impact like walking. Over time, running may lead to common overuse injuries, such as stress fractures, shin splints, ba bing yeah, I had those, IT band friction syndrome. In fact, runners have a greater risk at exercise-related injuries than walkers. Walkers have an approximately one to 5% risk of injury, while runners have anywhere from 20 to 70% chance. So when you're running, you're throwing about three times your weight forward. That's a lot of weight. So yeah, the chances of getting injured or hurt are gonna be higher than walking. If you're a runner, you can take steps to stay free. Don't increase your mileage too quickly and try to cross train several times a week or try walking instead. Walking offers many health benefits with running without the same risk of injury. If you're new to running, start a program where you alternate between walking and running, such as couch to 5K. Always check with your doctor before beginning a new exercise routine. The difference is the impact that you're gonna be putting on your body. They say that five minutes of running equates to about 15 minutes of walking. So you decide what works. You could do a run-walk method where you walk for a minute, run for two, walk for a minute, run for three. Like just work your way up over the weeks. It'll be another smart way to come back and use Maffetone method training all in this, right? Low heart rate training works really well. So if you want to improve your running, this radio right here, I think will help you in your running and to make you a faster, stronger runner who will be able to run much more at a longer distance. Thanks everybody. Like I always say, get out and run. See you on the next one. Bye everyone.